So, welcome back to another episode. Today is going to be pretty busy. A lot of big things happening in this episode and the next few. Um, as you can see, yes, I started building the breeding pens. Um, we are really going to get super serious now. I start put setting all the pairs down. I've got the last two hatches, um, all the hinges here for the, the loft, so we'll be able to lock it. The last two pens. Um, two pens are done. So... Let's get these sorted, um, get the birds out in the air and also need to set some pairs down in there and I think there is another nest ball that needs to go in with a white and blue bar as well but we'll go into that in a minute so let's head out there, get this stuff sorted today. So this one, um, get this pen sorted, this is going to be for Leo, um, and then need to get these two doors on these ones and then we can move another pair in here. The um, blue bars are going to head into this one, the ones that are trying to nest in there. They won't take long to settle down anyway. They'll be pretty close to laying eggs, so I need to get a nest well in here, and not one in here yet, but I need to get another one in here, so first let's... Um, get Leo into his little pen actually that wasn't for you that is for you I'll put that there I think um, a lot of you have been asking about her and Raven's grizzle I've got a photo of it check out this photo here that's the baby um, looks very similar to this one very similar as you can see um, we will catch up with it at some point but um, just check out how much of a good looking bird that is hopefully you'll come out the same And there is Big Leo, he's in his nest bowl. Hopefully he gets settled in. Now, time to get these on and might even get the birds out for a fly. So pretty much um, this hen here is the one that made it back first from the race and also the cockbird that she's paired with over in the far end there um, I was going to send them basket them up tonight, take them for a race it's not much further but I think I'm just going to pull them out and just bring them into those breeding pens and just try and get a round or two out of them I just need to start filling this loft back up so the plan is get them in that breeding pen I'm going to let them out for a fly now just before I lock them up for breeding and then we can look at um, the next pairing, I'm going to get these boxes finished too while they're up flying. But I think they, those two have deserved a little bit of a break, have a bit of a breed. I don't think they're really, it's really worth risking those two just for another race. It's only an extra 30 kilometres, but the weather and the wind's quite heavy, and also there is a chance of rain still, so might just not, not risk them, get them breeding, and then we can just put them into next year. Come here. So, it's all done. I um, only really need to give it a bit of a touch up with the paint and then we're all sweet. Um, let's move some pairs in there though. Let's get one in here. I've got all this ready. Hello, Leo. Hello. First, we need this nest bolt. And that can go in here.
Okay, so these are the two birds that um, made it back from the race. So there's the cock bird and there's the hen. I'm waiting confirmation from the guy that I got this off. I'm pretty sure this is off the um, the bolt line, which is also Leo Herman's. Um, so he's actually quite a good bird. Good breeding in him anyway. And this hen, still a little bit unsure. She might be Gaby. Um, might be one of the Gaby Macalonis, I'm not sure. I'm gonna chase up the, the breeding in here as well. But it'll be one of those brood, those few bloodlines, so hopefully these two um, do something pretty special with their babies. Both beautiful little birds. So, hopefully. And let's have a look at the next one. And I'm going to put the barless hen with him. Hopefully they pair up. We'll just wait and see. Just the fact that um, I can't find any more decent hens at the moment. I do want to continue on my barless project, so that's where she's come into play. Um, so we'll get one round out of them, and then maybe split her up, move her to another cockbird, um, just so we get a variety of splits, which is barless splits. Um, hopefully by then the, the other checkered hen in the loft is interested in breeding because she's not interested at the moment so we'll see if those two want to pair up and these two i think these two are going to stay again for another round just for the fact that she's ready to lay again very soon so i might as well just chuck another nest ball in here in the hoping that she will lay an egg so not too far off it she feels like it and this one here is actually the brother to the other Leo Hermans on the very bottom um, he's also probably from the bolt line of Hermans so hopefully we'll get some clarification on that so they're right cockbirds to start with anyway all, her, all Leo Hermans so we'll see how we go she's producing good babies anyway i'll catch you guys later um hopefully do some more videos tomorrow bye